What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to easily create a blank comic book interior just by using Canva. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to easily create a kid's blank comic book or an adult comic book. So what do I mean by this? Well, let me show you some examples. So I've already typed in kids blank comic book just so I can show you what I mean. So this is what they look like. And on the inside of the book, they look like this. So a lot of space, a lot of boxes, so kids can create their own comic books. And this is relatively easy to create this type of interior. Now, why would you want to create this type of book? Well, because they sell. So if we actually look at the BSRs on this first page, we can see 3,500 BSR just there. That one's a little bit higher. In fact, those two are sponsored. But 1,900 there, 3,500, 3,000 there. So we can see there's a lot of demand for this niche. Now, if we go up to the search bar and just do this, take away kids, we can see all these other keywords that you can target. Now, if you don't have this extension, this is AMS Suggestion Expander, completely for free as well over in the Google Chrome store play store one of them but it's just a chrome extension which is completely free so if you don't have it go and download it because this gives you lots of different keywords and from here we can see what type of keywords that we could create a book around and also target so you'd want to do a little bit of research using the spt chrome extension that's self-publishing titans chrome extension to see which of these would be best to actually create your books around. Because here we have a blank comic book, draw your own comics. We have template for kids, six to 12, for adults, for girls, journal, and so on. So you'd want to do a little bit of research first so you can see which keywords are best to create the book around. Now, if you want more niches like this, then come and check out the LCB Vault. I share lots of different niches, book types, how to create them, and all of that good stuff. So go ahead, click that link down in the description below. So, on to Canva. Now, what I'm going to do is just show you how easy it actually is to create this type of interior. Now, you can use the free version of Canva. You don't need the Pro. I pay for Pro, but to do an interior like this, it is not necessary. You can just get away with using the free version. Now, if you want to try out the Pro version, there will be a 30-day free trial down in the description below. Now, from here, I have an 8.5 um, interior 8.5 times 11 because if you do a little bit of research over on Amazon and take a look at some of these books you'll find that the interior size is 8.5 times 11 so that's what I've got just here and from here what I've gone ahead and done is gone to shapes just here I've gone to see all and now I've scrolled down to get this box just here so if I click on there you can see that's what I've got. And then to make that line thinner, just grab the corner, pull it in, and then you can drag the boxes how you want. So let's delete that. So that's what I've gone ahead and done here. Now what I want to do is actually make boxes on the page. So this is really easy to do as well. Now from here, we can do that. We can do a little bit of that. And then we can copy. So if we go to duplicate just here in the right hand corner, we can now duplicate that, move that over. Now, if you don't know, I have these margins set here just so it's easier to line up everything. To get those, we go to file and click on show margins just here. Now we can do this, make these boxes like that. We can duplicate that again, move that to here, make that one longer. We could then copy these two. So I've dragged uh, over the both of them. We're going to duplicate, move to here, 
and then we can move that one in like that do that one that way and then for this one the last one let's just duplicate that move that down as well and now let's just play around to get these boxes looking good so in fact i'll make that one a little bit smaller we'll do that we'll grab these two bring that closer as well in fact let's move that up like that let's do that make sure these little spaces are all roughly about the same so let's grab that one move that one up as well like that if it will let me there we go and then move that one up as well to there and just drag that a little bit lower so if we do that move that over we now have one page now from here i would make about four different pages with different styles but let me show you what else i would do now i'd go over to elements up to here we're already on them so let's just take that away and from here i would use a speech bubble so let's do this speech bubble let's click enter and see what there is now top tip don't go ahead and just use the pro versions i don't like the licensing apparently they've updated it so i keep meaning to read that but if you want to use the free versions which are here instead of looking through them we can click this little toggle thing just here click on free and now click apply filters now anything here under free we're allowed to use in our own books and also sell them now anyway let's take a look at these in fact let me just show you one thing real quick just a quick trick when you're on free if we click on the free dots just here and then go through so if we click just i think it's here let's click on the speech bubble the actual title it will bring you to a page like this if it's going to load up now from here if it says price free use it in all your designs this means we're allowed to use it in our books and we're also allowed to sell them so that's what you want to look for when you're using these free items or free graphics now let's actually put a couple of these on the page so maybe not that one let's take this one we could move that let's make that a little bit smaller let's flip that round and we could have that one maybe somewhere like that and then let's take this one let's make that border black there we go like that let's do the inside white like that and now here we could move that down to here and now we have that one page so from here i would duplicate the page by going just here duplicate and now i would play around with the boxes like that making a different layout so let's do that Let's duplicate that one like this there we go so let's move that one over let's move that one up let's get these two move these down move that to there let's do this one like that and then let's just delete these for a second or move them out the way now let's make these little spaces a little bit smaller like that let's move this one down in fact let me just zoom in so here's a top tip if you're using canva to create and you're trying to get that space a little bit smaller but it keeps clicking in place like that what you want to do is just zoom in so let's go to 125 and now it's easier to move as we can see so that's just a little top tip for you right there let's take this one let's move that in maybe do that and just move that down there we go now let's zoom out looking good now obviously i would spend a little bit more time doing this for this example i'm just doing it fairly quick so the video is not too long now from here we can move these bubbles as well you don't have to have bubbles or speech bubbles you don't have to have anything you could just have the plain boxes but this is just what i like to do in fact let's duplicate that and let's move that one to there let's move that one over to there flip it around and there we go so now we have two different styles for the interior 
So we have that one there and that one there. Now, like I said nearer the beginning, I would create probably around four different styles and then I'd just duplicate them throughout the book. So now let's imagine that I have four different styles just here. All I would do now to make the book longer, get it to that 100 pages, is duplicate. So I would duplicate this and then I'd move it down. So now if we go up, they're going to be, what's the word? So we've got one here, and then we've got the second one there, and then back to the first. So if this was four styles, I would put this right down to the bottom, and then I'd go to the second one, duplicate that, move that down as well. So now we can see that it's starting to take shape. Now again, I'd just keep doing this. So I'd go up to that second one, duplicate, move down. Then I'd go to that one above that, duplicate, move down. Now remember that's only on two pages. If it was four, I would go one, two, three, four, up to here, and then I'd duplicate that and then move that down to the bottom. This way you're not getting the same interior, no, the same style on the next page. They're going to be, I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. So that's what I would do. I would just keep doing that until I have a hundred page interior. Then once I've done that, I would go to download. So let's just pretend we have a hundred pages. I'd go to PDF, print, go to all pages. This would say 100. I would click on all just here and then I'd click download. Now we're going to do something else in a second because in Canva you can only duplicate a page up to a hundred pages. So if you want your welcome um, page, your welcome, something like that, I can't remember the name either, but you'd want something like this on the front page. Now, like I said, Canva only gives you the option to create a hundred pages, so you would have to merge them together. So I'd do this separate, like in here, this blank comic book belongs to, then I'd have a little copyright down the bottom with your pen name just here. Then from here, I would also download this. So I'd do that, go to PDF print, like that, all pages, and then click download. Now, this is where we merge those files together. So what do I use for this? I use, I love PDF. So from here, I actually started doing this in an incognito window now, because they limit you if you don't. So there's only a certain amount of times that you can use I love PDF, the merger, I believe, in one day. So from here, I'd go to ilovepdf.com, and go to this one, Merge PDF Files. Now, like I said, I do this in an incognito window now, just because it's a lot easier, and I don't get any limits, because I use this tool quite a lot. So, from here, let's choose those PDF files. We're going to click Select PDF Files, go right here, that's my Amazon advertising invoice, we don't want that. So we'd go to here, I'd go, to there like that, open, and now we just made got to make sure they're in the right place. So I've got the front just here, and then the interior just there, all looks good. And now I'd go to merge PDF. So you can see just how easy it is to create a comic book interior. Now I made this video a few years back, but I thought it was about time that I updated and did a new one. So here we go. There we go, let's click on there. And now you can see what this would actually look like. So if we zoom out, that was the second part that we made. So we have this blank comic book belongs to, then copyright, and that would be your pen name just here. This side is blank because that is the back side to this one. And then if we look through, we can see we have that interior. But remember again, I would duplicate and I would make at least 100 pages but there you go that's just how easy it is to create a comic book interior now if you want any more tutorials on like this 
for any other books, then leave a comment down below letting me know. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.